Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering how to round mixed numbers to the nearest whole number. And we have four examples that we're going to be going through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have four and a third. Now, the most important part of this video is this hint right here. So when we're taking a look at mixed numbers, we need to take a look at the fractional part to see if we round up or stay the same as far as that whole number goes. So if the fractional part is greater or equal to a half, then we round up. If it's less than a half, then we stay the same. So let's take a look at the fractional part, one third. So half of three is one and a half. So this is going to be less than a half because we only have one for our numerator there. It's less than that one and a half, which is half of three. So we stay the same. Our closest whole number is four. So four and one third rounds to four. This symbol here represents um, close to or approximately. And it's helpful when rounding because we don't want to use an equal sign. Uh, four and one third is not equal to four. It's close to and rounds to four. So that's why I'm using that symbol there. So on to number two, where we have nine and six tenths. So let's take a look at the fractional part, and we need to determine if that's greater or equal to a half or less than half. So our numerator is six. So we need to think, well, what's half a 10? Five tenths is half. So we have six tenths. So that's greater than a half. And that tells us that we would round to 10. So nine and six tenths is closer to 10 or would round to 10 rather than closer to nine. Number three, we have 21 and three eighths. So the fractional part, we have three eighths. So we know that four eighths is half or four out of eight. So we have three eighths, that's less than half. So we stay the same and our closest whole number is 21. And lastly, we have number four, 10 and 7 thirteenths. So this is an odd number, so we don't have a whole number as far as what half of 13 is. Half of 13 is six and a half, so we need to see if this numerator is greater than, equal to, or less than that six and a half. So seven is a little bit greater, so this is a little bit more than half. So we would round up 10 and 7 thirteenths rounds to 11 or is closer to 11. So there you have it. There's how you round mixed numbers to the nearest whole number. This hint again up here is the most important part. Take a look at your fractional part. If it's greater or equal to a half, you round up as far as that whole number goes. If it's less than a half, then you stay the same. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.